Okay, today I want to talk about some new way to structuring owner financing that you probably haven't heard of before. You always heard of OPM, which is over people's money. But what about OPR, over people resources? So let me give you a quick example. Actually, a property I did in the beginning when I started using this concept is I didn't have much funds. And so what I did, I was able to get a hard money lender to fund the property, OPM, but then he wasn't funding the rehab on the property. So what I did is I worked with a contractor. I got an estimate how much it was to fix up the property. I think it was about $10,000. And then I said, I tell you what, if you can go ahead and wait for me to pay on the labor, I will give you $12,000 once the work is completed. He says, well, can I get at least 1000 or so? for gas and immediate expenses. I said, fine. So I used his labor. Then as far as the supplies, I went to Home Depot and opened a credit card and used the credit card account. So by the time the work was done, that's when my first credit card bill was due. And I just made the minimum. And when I sold the property, I I paid it off. So really, I got into it with very little to no money because I used OPM to purchase the property, hard money. I used OPR for doing the work with a contractor and I use a credit card for the supplies. But this is how you can financially structure a deal with OPM, OPR, and very little money out of pocket.